Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET Nuke Corporation. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature within .NET Nuke 5 that allows administrators to control which roles within a .NET Nuke website have the ability to use certain modules called module deploy permissions. So we're going to be able to assign specific modules to roles. We're going to do this from the admin extensions page. Now we're not installing modules. That can still only be done by a host or a super user, but as an administrator, we'll be able to control which roles have access to which modules on our particular portal. So we're going to do this in a .NET Nuke 5.6.0 professional installation, but this also applies to the Community Edition and the Enterprise Edition of .NET Nuke. So currently we have a couple of different pages within our navigation. And if we were to take a look at the security roles page, we'll find that we have a sample role that was created previously called test role. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to assign permissions on the page called test page so that users in the test role have edit access on this particular page. So we can go to the page settings for our test page and we're then going to come in and go ahead and give the test role full control over this particular page. Now the permissions grid here in .NET Nuke Professional is more elaborate than the community edition of .NET Nuke. In community you would have view and edit. The full control option is essentially the same thing as edit in the community edition. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update and now we've effectively given users in the test role the ability to manage test page. So we can test that by logging out. And I'm going to go ahead and log in with an account that I previously created called test user. And when we get logged in, we can see we're on the test page right now. And we have access to the control panel. We can actually create new pages underneath of this page. We can edit the announcements module or add announcements in here. But the one thing we can't currently do is add additional modules to the page. That's because out of the box with .NET Nuke in, in version 5, you have to specifically define which modules a role can use. And when you create a new role, they don't have any access to, to new modules. So I can work with modules that are already on this page, but I can't place any new modules on the page. So what we need to do is log back in as the administrator and then provide that access. I'm going to log in with that admin account. And then from the admin account, I'm going to go to the admin page and then the extensions page. Now the admin extensions page is very similar to the host extensions page, except that you can't add or remove modules from here. What you can do is you can go into the listing of modules and there's a pencil option next to each of the modules. By clicking on that pencil option, we're going to start with the announcements module. It allows me to go to a page where I can then define which roles have the deploy option for modules. So I'm going to go ahead and check deploy for the test role. If I go ahead and click on update, that will save those deploy permissions. Now I'm going to also navigate back to the extensions page again and set up deploy permissions for an additional module. And I'll probably do that for two more, two more modules while we're at it. The next module I'm going to use is called DNN Simple Article. It's an open source module that we previously installed in a module installation video here in the .NET Nuke video library. I'm going to go to the edit control or edit extension information for that particular module. I'm also going to add deploy permissions to the test role. Navigate back to the extensions page. And we're going to finally do the same thing for the HTML Pro module. Check deploy for test role and update our settings. Now I'm going to go ahead and navigate back to the test page. Log out of the website as the administrator. And I'll now log in as that test user. Now the test user is part of that test role it was previously set up. So once again, we're on the test page. We have access to the control panel. We have access to the module that's already on the page. 
Up in the insert module portion of the control panel, however, we now have three options for available modules. So we can come in here and choose any of those three modules. Could define a title, can choose a visibility, can choose the location for the module, and then simply click on add module. We now have that simple article module added to the page, which we could go through and add articles to. We could do the same thing with the HTML Pro module. We could add that to the page as well and start to maintain content using the HTML Pro module. So with the new deploy permissions in .NET Nuke 5, you can create different roles that have rights to different modules. So if you wanted to create a third or a second role besides test role, we could assign different permissions or different deploy permissions to that particular role, giving them access to a different collection of modules. Now, it's possible for users to belong to multiple roles, so you could go and add a user to multiple roles, giving them access to different modules based on those various roles. So that was a brief demonstration of the new deploy permissions for modules within .NET Nuke 5. For more .NET Nuke training information, I'd encourage you to check out the .NET Nuke training page located under the Resources tab at .NET There you'll find a variety of free training videos, as well as an upcoming schedule of our instructor-led training webinars and information about our custom on-site and online training. Again, this was Chris Hammond with .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.